Cabarrus, uh, Cabarrus County is one of the fastest growing areas in our region. There's no doubt about it, but at times that growth comes with a price. The cost of renting or buying a home has gone up and there are not enough affordable places to live. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson shows us how Cooperative Christian Ministry is seeking solutions to try and solve the housing crisis by creating more places to live. It's called the Rebuilders Campus and it's a big project on 10 acres of land. It will serve as transitional housing for Cabarrus County residents so they can rebuild their lives. Built in the early 1900s, this old textile mill is creating opportunities and rebuilding hope. This location became that perfect place. Close to transportation and local resources, this piece of property is rich in history and soon it will help house residents in need. Transitional housing is the solution for so many of our folks who have fallen into crisis and are not able to stabilize and come out on their own. The Rebuilders Campus in Brown Mill Commons is on Cabarrus Avenue in Concord. The project is broken into three phases. The first will include two 24 unit apartment buildings and a program center that will operate as a daycare. Phase two will establish a retail and commercial environment providing amenities, job opportunities and health care. The last phase will create two more 24 unit apartment buildings. In total, it's 96 apartments serving 300 individuals. It takes a comprehensive approach. Homelessness and recovering uh, housing stability is a complex set of circumstances. On top of the housing, tenants will receive education and training to become self-sufficient. The goal over three to five years, move them into a home they can afford. Not only stable. Ed Hosack, CEO of Cooperative Christian Ministry, says through this approach, they invest in people, giving them a better chance at succeeding. The solutions that are offered today um, are offered as a one-time fix um, or a short-term solution. Um, neither of those are going to help someone emerge out of crisis and find stability. The project costs about $13 million and in total it will take about seven years to be completed, but they're hoping to have phase one done in the next few years. Reporting in Concord for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.